Hi everyone, this is Teo. Welcome to another art product review. In today's video, I'll be looking at some Spectrum No art liner pens. So these are the few sets that were sent to me by the company. Let's take a look at this first. This is a set of six black colored art liners. We have uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8 and a brush tip pen so these are the strokes later i will test them out for you let's look at the back these quality fine line pens are perfect for sketching outlining and coloring fine details various line weaves and colors quality micro pigment inks light fast and waterproof quick drying and smudge proof so they use pigment ink these are going to be waterproof and light fast. Let's take a look at the tips before we look at the different colors that are available. So these are the six art liner pens. This is a very typical technical pen size. Feels pretty standard. Almost glossy body. There's nothing else on the body except for the brand. The cap is quite tight, so this is good. It prevents the ink from drying out. This is the metal clip, and here that's the size of the tip. And you can post the cap right behind, and it's quite tight as well. These are the needle point tips that you commonly see in technical pens. On the left side, this is the 0 0.05, this is the 0.1, 0.3. 0.5 this is 0.8 and this is the brush tip here's a closer look at the tip this is a felt tip so it's best used on smoother paper and this is the brush tip let me compare this to the other brush tip that I have which is a Copic liner brush tip so the spectrum nor it's slightly smaller but it looks like it's slightly sharper as well the Copic tip is a bit worn out so you can see some fuzzy point there both of these are sponge tips let's look at some of the lines that I have drawn with all the pens it starts from 0 0.05 all the way to 0.8 and then the brush tip Here's a closer look. I actually forgot to label the strokes. So you can see the difference between 0 0.3 0 0.5. It's not that significant. But 0 0.5 and 0.8, that's quite a bit of a jump. And then 0 0.8 to the brush tip. This is definitely much thicker. Sponge tips like this, they are definitely not as flexible compared to bristles the ink is also alcohol based so it dries really quickly and the ink is very dark let's move on to the next set this is the neutral set it has gray colors and this is either brown or sepia these are the sizes we have a very thin line we have a fine line and we have a thick line these are some drawings that I have drawn with the brown colored pen. The lines here, they are from the 0 0.3. These very thin lines here, they are from the 0 0.05. And for this sketch, the thicker lines, they are drawn with the brush tip. And the hatching lines, they are drawn with the 0 0.05. Let me flip over to the next page. So these are the black pens. And these are the gray colored pens. The contrast between the gray color and the paper, it's not very strong. This is black by comparison. This is much stronger compared to the gray. And these are the colored pigmented inks. There are eight colors in each set. I'm not sure about the total colors that are available from Spectrum Noir. In this set here, the tips are 0 0.3 and in this set, all these are brush tips. 
I'm not too sure also about the sizes that are available and whether or not you can get the pens individually. I will find that out and put that in my text review. You can visit the link to the text review in the video description below. All right, let's take a look at these pens. These are the colors. There are no names of the colors on the body, but I think these colors, they are pretty obvious. These are how the colors look like. They are actually quite close to the colors on the top of the cap. So the color on the top of the cap is a rather accurate indicator of the color that you are going to get on paper. The felt tip is quite smooth on paper and you can use them to create dots like this as well. This is quite fun. The ink will feather if you actually put the tip on the paper for too long. So you have to have a light touch, just touch and go. You can get some pretty nice textures with the dots by mixing different colors. This is red mixed with green. This is red over green and this is green over red. I'm not sure if you can see the difference. This is orange and blue. At places where the colors overlap, I can see some green color. These two pages are drawn with the brush tip. So these are some of the textures I can get. These are the colored brush tips. I basically just dab the brush tip on the paper very quickly. These are the colors from the brush tips. They are very vibrant, very strong. It's quite fun to just play around with the colors. Maybe let's try and draw something with the brush tip. So this is yellow. Let's mix this with orange. And try and get some thin lines and some thin to thick. Let's switch over to red. Switch over to this pink color. Oh, this is actually purple. And this is supposed to be purple, but it looks like it's some sort of dark purple. So the color earlier is supposed to be some magenta and this is more purple. So these are the type of strokes you can get. Let's try and write something. As you can see, my calligraphy is not very good. And as I linger too long on the surface, I can feel the ink flow onto the paper very generously. So this is going to feather slightly if you put the tip on the paper for a bit too long. Let's see if it goes through to the next page. It does go through to the next page, so be careful. So that's all for today's review. These are very decent technical pens with fine tips and brush tips to perform quite well. The felt tips, they are smooth on the paper. The brush tips to me, they are a bit small. I wish that they can be a bit bigger. And also because they are actually sponge tip, they are not as flexible compared to those bristle brush tips. But the main highlight to me for this Spectrum Noir pens would be the use of pigmented inks, especially color pigmented inks inks like this, colored pigmented inks like this in technical pens, they are actually quite difficult to find. Since these are pigmented inks, they are supposed to be light fast. However, I'm not able to test how durable they are or how light fast they are because that will take me a long time to test for them. But if you are using them in sketchbooks like this, it should be no problem at all. But if you want to create artworks that are meant to be archival, I do suggest that you test them out first before you actually use them on artworks. 
that you might want to sell or you might want to keep for a long time. If you're wondering about the sketchbook that I'm using, it's this brand Academy that's made by my friend. So that's all for today's review. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you want to find out where you can buy the pens, you can visit the links in the video description below. Oh, and one last thing that I forgot to mention. Spectronaut also sent me this disc with some tutorials on calligraphy. I have gone through the lessons, but I haven't actually practiced a lot, which explains why my calligraphy is not that good. But this is pretty easy to follow along. So if you are interested to learn more about calligraphy, you can check this out. So that's all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.